My name is Dr. Scott Solomon. I'm a professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School and Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. And today I'm going to talk about uh, the DELIVER trial. So DELIVER is the largest trial that's ever been done in heart failure with mildly reduced and preserved ejection fraction. And it was designed to compare dapagliflozin, 10 milligrams, once daily with placebo in patients with heart failure, with evidence of structural heart disease, with elevation in natriuretic peptides. We randomized 6,263 patients in DELIVER. Uh, again, the largest trial ever been done in heart failure with preserved and mildly reduced ejection fraction. And we uh, also enrolled patients who were either ambulatory or in hospital. They could have been enrolled while in the hospital or recently hospitalized. Another notable feature about DELIVER in contrast to other trials in this population is that DELIVER allowed for patients who had heart failure with improved ejection fraction. In other words, patients whose ejection fraction was lower than 40% to start and they became over 40% after that. Well, the trial population was very typical of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. The majority of these patients were New York Heart Association class two. We had a median NT pro BNP of somewhere around 1,000. Um, we had uh, approximately 40% uh, women. We had a very good geographic distribution. The study was done in 350 sites and 20 countries. The, the trial was different from some of the earlier trials in heart failure with uh, preserved ejection fraction because our, our LVEF cutoff went down to 40%. In contrast, for example, to the Paragon trial or the TopCat trial in which the cutoff was actually 45%. In addition, as I mentioned, we included patients who had, had recovered or improved left ventricular ejection fraction. This is a group of patients who had never been studied in any other prior trial. Well, the, the, the major subgroups that we've not tested in other trials are patients with heart failure with uh, improved or recovered ejection fraction. Um, that's completely new. There have been very few trials that have also, in this population, that have also enrolled patients in hospital or recently hospitalized. And approximately 11% of our patients uh, are recently hospitalized. Approximately 18% of our patients have improved or recovered ejection fraction. We have a very high proportion of Asian participants. It's, it's a, in the range of 20%. Again, uh, one of the highest proportion of Asian participants of any uh, clinical trial in heart failure with mildly reduced and preserved ejection fraction. DELIVER met its primary endpoint. Uh, we've announced the top line results, but uh, the, the full results I think will be extremely hallucinating. DELIVER will um, really help us understand which patients uh, we should be using SGLT2 inhibitors for.